Hey guys, in a previous video you may remember that I talked about using a gimbal with a GoPro Hero 10 because if you were to shoot in low light or you shoot with ND filters then with a slower shutter speed the stabilisation is pretty pants and it just doesn't work so that's when you're going to need to use a gimbal but one of the biggest problems that I had, I was using the Inky Falcon and the biggest problem that I had with it was the fact that you couldn't actually use the media mod with it and one of the things that I like to do with my GoPro is use the media mod so that I can use an external microphone just to get better audio. So this is the um, Inky Falcon and as you can see here it's pretty close up to the side so there's no way that you can attach the media mod it just doesn't work. So one of the things that Inky have done is create a completely new gimbal which does allow you to attach the media mod to it. So this is the Inky Falcon Plus and as you can see on there it's got the media mod attached and um, so one of the things that I want to do is try it out and see how it works. So this is the original Inky Falcon and then this is the Inky Falcon Plus. So in terms of size, they are pretty much the same size. Um, the Inky Falcon Plus doesn't have, hang on, have I got that the right way around? Hang on, yeah, I was just making sure. Yeah, so this one is the Inky Falcon Plus and this is the Inky Falcon. And um, so the Inky Falcon has this gold band around the top and the Inky Falcon Plus doesn't. But what I'm going to do is put the GoPro on the Inky Falcon Plus with the media mod because that's the entire purpose of this video because I want to see how well it fits and um, yeah. I was just about to attach the GoPro onto the gimbal and as I was doing it, it wasn't actually fitting. Let me just show you. So I was putting it on here, oh, the wrong way around. I was putting it on here and then, yeah, so it's not going on. And I realized that there's a little screw at the back of the gimbal, which you can untighten and then you can slide this little bit at the front out so that you can fit the GoPro on. So I'll do that now and I'll put the GoPro on and then I'll try it out. Okay, so after a little bit of faffing around, um, one of the things that you'll notice is that you can't use the regular screw thingies because it just doesn't fit unless you had one of the longer ones. Um, I don't know if they, I can't remember if you get if you can get longer ones than this. But yeah, those little screws just don't just don't fit. So you have um, a little silver one that comes with it, but it was such a faff to put it on. And I'm thinking if you're going to be out and your battery dies and you need to change your battery, you're going to have to unscrew this little silver thing every single time. And if you, for any reason, forget to bring the little tool with you, then you're kind of screwed. Um, but otherwise, if you can overlook that little um, mishap that it has with it, then it actually does work really well. And one of the things that you will have to do is balance the gimbal, which I haven't done yet, but there's loads of clearance on this side, unlike with the other gimbal. So there's loads of clearance here for the microphone that actually comes with the media mod. And let me just go ahead and plug in an external microphone as well because I just want to see if this whole setup would work because this is how I would actually use it with something like the Rode Video Mic Go 2 or the Sennheiser MKE 200 or the Day TD4. So let me just switch the gimbal off first and then take this off. Okay, so this is now a lot heavier as you can see. So I'm just gonna switch it on. I should really, I probably should really balance this first, but let me just see anyway, if this is gonna work. 
Nah, it's too heavy. So I think if you, I'll try and balance it first and see, but I don't think it's gonna work. So even after having balanced it with the microphone, it was still too heavy. So I have got a Rode Video Micro, so I might see if that one works or the Deity D4 or the Sennheiser MKE 200. And um, otherwise, it's just a case of just using the media mod with the furry, with the foam windshield as it is, um, which still Im improves the audio a little bit. So can't really complain because it does work. But like I said, apart from faffing around with this little screw here, this is the best way of getting a gimbal with the media mod attached. So I've put a link in the description to where you can get one and I will most likely be using this gimbal over the original one because I always use the media mod and if I can get an external microphone to attach to it and not be too heavy, then that's just gonna make the whole setup perfect. So I will maybe do a follow-up video in that, we'll see. But the other thing that I actually wanted to do was, I also have this gimbal for the GoPro Hero 10 and I want to compare this one against this Inky Falcon Plus because there are a couple of things that are different with this against this one. Um, one major thing which I will talk about in the next video. So do subscribe if you wanna see that video and do give this video a like if you found it useful. Um, but yeah, otherwise see you on the next video.